you know, historically, when you had a cat come in tested for leukemia or AIDS and it's positive, the recommendation is putting them to sleep under the presumption that they're a carrier and they're going to spread that virus around. And that can happen. If cats are sick from leukemia or AIDS, many times we'll say to put them to sleep. But the cat's not sick, not showing any signs, and it just comes up positive on a routine test. Sometimes we may do a different test to confirm it. But what I tell people to do, and I've seen it work multiple times, many times actually, is if you'll put those cats on sodium ascorbate for three to six months and retest them, a lot of them will be negative. Probably half of them will be negative. The dose is sodium ascorbate, quarter of a teaspoon on the food, twice a day. And then I would give little kittens probably an eighth of a teaspoon. Cats eat it, which surprised me. And the only side effect is occasionally they'll get loose stool. And then I recommend people coming back in three to six months, and I just had one the other day, that it was negative. A lot of those cats will go negative. Now, I don't know if it clears the virus. Maybe it does something to the test. I don't know. But I just do know that the test is negative. Those cats are fine. They've done fine. And I've got cats that have lived five years and they're still negative and they're doing great. So I'd try it, especially if you have a cat or a, a kitten that has come up positive on the typical feline retroviral test.